you know, sometimes when I get parents who call me and they're trying to find out about my services and whether or not that they would like to retain me mm -hmm. to help them advocate for their child, I never like to convince a parent and say, well, I think you need to retain me. Um, because at the end of the day, Jen, you and I are working with children, right. not widgets, mm -hmm. with children. We right. both have our own ch children. And so, but you know, there is something that I'm very comfortable saying to parents, and that is that nobody's waiting in line behind you to advocate for your child, okay? And what I mean by that is, you know, if you're not gonna do it, or if you're not going to perhaps let an advocate or an attorney help you do that, there's nobody waiting in line behind you. It's a great, it's a great saying because ultimately, not just whether or not you should have legal professionals or advocates helping you. Right. But really what it comes down to is this. Many parents and many people in general are uncomfortable with disagreement and they're uncomfortable right. with conflict and may, many times they just don't like the idea of, of having to challenge the people who are working with their children or even becoming unpopular in, in the school and that's you know it's I have a similar saying which is you know this isn't a popularity contest this is your child's education this could yeah. be your child's life you know and so that just gets at the heart of something when it comes down to it if you in your heart of hearts as a parent know know that your child needs something different than what they're getting, then it, it isn't a popularity contest. And I love the way you say it. Right. It's a great well, thing to say. As I said, nobody's waiting in line behind you to advocate for your child.